Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. And as you can see, this is a head shaving video with some new stuff. Well, at least one thing new. You guys, if you watched my last video, you saw the new soap. Um, Max Schieffer shows Max Schieffer soap. I'll put the name and the scent notes down in the description if I can get hold of them and get the scent notes before I add it. Um, here's a methylate soap. Smells like a cough drop but it's great it smells like a licorice flavored cough drop but it's great um if you missed the last video i did my first pass with a straight razor my first uh, you know very first straight razor shave so to speak at least did the first pass finished it up with a red tip joette red tip um you know so and the brush in case you didn't see it the brush i'm using is my heritage collection shaving um Simon 77-5 with the finest badger gel tip knot really great knot feels great on the face that's heritage shavings um one of their you know that's pretty much a luxury offering they got so we'll go ahead with the dome and get shaven and i'll show you the razor that we're going to be using brand new razor to the den I'm absolutely ecstatic to have it um, it's one I've been wanting for head shaving for a while and it is the ba -ba -da -ba leaf I have three half Astra SPs which when you buy I bought the big pack where you get the razor stand 50 blades and a blade bank um, and they gave me Astro SPs. So, let's go ahead and let's lather up the noggin. My head just... I don't think my head is quite happy with double edge and single edge razors. As much anymore. I seem to get a better shave with a cart style razor on my head. But my head has been quite sensitive for a while because I have had some kind of breakout on my noggin. I don't know why it is. I'm just now getting over it. A little bit of water into it. Now, if you didn't see the last video, this soap, the scent strength's not super big. In case you're wondering where you can get a Max Schaefer soap. Um, I ended up winning it on Facebook and he threw in a straight razor with it as a bonus item so if you want to see me go ahead and try and do a shave with a straight razor without mangling myself my last video even though I only did the first pass anyways using my beard and mustache trimmer to trim in the ditches next to the ear First pass, I'm gonna go with the grain. Here we go, using the leaf for the very first time. My hair goes with the grain down this way. That feels very nice. In case you're wondering if this leaf is difficult to load, it's not. You turn the knob on the back, you have multiple plates, three plates that flip up, three or four plates. I think three. Yeah, because you've got your base plate, then you put a blade, drop another plate, put a blade, drop another blade. Or base plate, drop a blade, another plate, drop a blade another plate drop a blade then the top cap so it's got four um, four plates it's got a longer handle which is nice oh got a little pimple or something there Wow. Oh. 
that's pretty good. And the shipping was quick. I got it fast, which is good. In case you didn't see the last video, I picked up this brush and one other at West Coast Shaving. They had a 15% off sale on all heritage brushes. Oh yeah, that's going nice through the whiskers on top of my noggin. And this slick, this smooth handle. Not having any issues holding on to it. Very nice. Very, very nice. And if you decide to get a leaf, because you want to transition from carts to a safety razor and you figure, oh, the leaf will be a good choice, don't tap it on the sink like you have to with double edge with normal carts. you know you don't want to damage the damage that chrome plating or gold you can get them in gold as well but I chose chrome my girlfriend she wants to go ahead and use the leaf to shave a leg with and she wants to use one of my soaps and one of my brushes she's used soaps and brushes of mine before but she wants to go ahead and she wants to you know try doing her legs with the leaf Told her that'd be fine. Nice thing about it, dip it in a little rubbing alcohol. Because even though I know who she is, what she does or does not have, which fortunately she doesn't have anything, um, you know, still, I don't know, not, not dipping them razor and alcohol after somebody whether they're a loved one or not shaves with one of your razors just no that kind of creeps me out so now we'll go against the grain I'm gonna start at the back dang it yep the one drawback to that heritage brush right there, that Simon 77-5, is it likes to fall over <laughs> um, if you bump it. So here we go against the grain in the back. You do have to apply a touch of pressure. Very nice. In case you're wondering if it's difficult to load, no, it's not. It's got little tabs for the corners of your blade and little magnets in there. To hold the blade in place once you put it in. I mean, I did it, and I'm blind as a bat, so to speak. So. There we go. 
Nice. Oh yeah. I like. I like a lot, guys. Dry the handle real quick. And if you didn't see Chris Bailey's interview with Adam from Lee, I guess they're going to be releasing soon a little a little rubberized or latex or you know silicone piece that slides up on the handle. I'm liking this leaf, guys. I really am liking this leaf. At first, when I saw it, I was, yeah, I got, I got safety reason for that, and, you know, and I can just do disposables. sucks when you're like needing to shave your head and um, you realize that your disposables are done. And they clog up really easy. This ain't clogging at all. Very nice. I like it. Residual slickness on this Mac Schaefer soap, which I will, I think I said, I'll put the description and the scent notes down below in the title. But that's a really, really good soap. Plenty, plenty of residual slickness. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, missed a little spot right there. Let's go ahead and get a little, little bit of lather here. Talking to my brother out in Kentucky yesterday or last night, and uh, asked him if he had any like little junks. If he ever goes out to you know junk stores, or whatever, and he said, "No, not really. I got enough junk." And I said, "Well," he's like, "What are you looking for?" So I said, well, I'm looking for razors. Straight razors, safety razors, and when he started shaving, it was already the era of the cart. So he wasn't sure about them. And so he's gonna look out in Kentucky and I told him what to look for if it's a straight razor. If there's big chips in the blade or a bunch of rust on the edge, and he's worked with stuff long enough to know how to tell if it's just surface rust or damaging rust. You know, blades crack, stuff like that, and it's pass it by. So, if the scales are all mangled, unless it's very certain types, pass it by. Anyways, let me rinse off here. This, that's amazing, guys. That is amazing. I went ahead and even... The easiest time I have using a cart style razor is if I have one or two days growth. Anything more than that, the razor, the cart razor is struggling. Double edge and single edge, you know. 
sometimes they can be a bit rough on the noggin, cut you, stuff like that. If you if you, you know if you're not paying attention, gotta work that angle. But this, with that pivoting head of that leaf, my gosh, this is one of the best shaves. I still got a little bit of hair there. Dang it, I'm gonna have to take my trimmers. I can never get right in the ditch of my ear. Been shaving my head for years, and that's always been an issue. But anyways, yeah, that's great. I'm really, really impressed. The soap, great. The menthol felt amazing. Um, the brush, wonderful brush. I'm glad I got it. It cost 100 bucks, but I got 15% off. But normally they're a $100 brush. I'm just so happy to have it. It's a nice addition to the Badger brush collection, which isn't very big at this time. But I love that brush. I hope the other one works just as well. Um, and the razor just amazing amazing guys if you're a head shaver and you want to go ahead and you have trouble getting a bbs shave on your head go with a leaf and i mean look at that guys i've still got little remnants of the breakout on my head it just it just floated right over them the leaf floated right over them i'm very very happy very impressed um very very happy to have it in the den anyways guys um oh time for the post huh the last video i didn't do a post because i was going to do this video straight away with the head shave so taking t dickinson's witch hazel look guys it's a fresh bottle i finally went through it through the last one. Oh yeah no sting no sting from the uh, witch hazel because, you know, it's got a touch of alcohol in it. No sting. I like this. I really like this. Maybe I'll go ahead and do a straight face shape with the leaf. See how that works out. Oh, Alrighty. There we go. There's that. Go ahead and throw some Dove for me an aftershave bomb. Yeah, I know I said in a couple of videos back I was going to get my Instagram straightened out. Still ain't done that. Sorry, guys. I'm working on it, but I've got a lot of people following me now. I definitely need to do something with it. Definitely need to. People I've known for years. People in the wet shaving community, Rich Hansen, CDB. I believe CDB follow. Yeah. Real talk with him and David Gonzalez. They follow. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. That is the shave. The head shave with Leaf, which did an absolutely amazing job. I am so ecstatic. That is absolutely, hands down, bar none, one of the best head shaves. If not... Well, it's one of the best head shaves I've gotten in a long time. And I will definitely say this. This is no lie. It is truly, truly the most effortless head shave I have ever had. I didn't have to fight with the razor clogging. I didn't have to fight to find the angle. I didn't go ahead. I didn't go too deep. I didn't go too shallow because of the pivoting head. The razor didn't turn in my hand, digging the side tabs of the blade into my noggin, which that's happened. It hurts like an SOB. But yeah, that is the easiest head shave I've ever had. Definitely without a doubt. Last thing, once I find it. The aftershave. I got picked the aftershave in Jill's honor. Jill Snowden, if she shaves with Jill's honor. And it is this. Um, she lived in Florida, so I figured I'd go with some Maggots Orange Menthol. After all, Florida orange juice, you know. And this is liquid form, so it's a juice and it's orange. 
and I love the scent of it. Oh yeah, that feels great. Oh yeah, there we go. Rubbed into the stash. Rubbing into the skin. Yeah. I am I am blown away guys by that leaf. I'm absolutely blown away by it. I'm very happy with it. And I'm really happy with the silk from Max Schaefer. Anyways, guy, and the brush, and the brush. Anyways, guys, I'm done chewing your ear. If you if you're not subscribed and you're watching, if you feel you know I'd appreciate it if you did subscribe or not. It's your choice. But if you do subscribe, go ahead and kick that bell and click all notifications. That way you can be notified whenever I drop a new video. If you ever need to get in touch with me for anything, whether it's shaving related or whatever, you can reach me at my email, which is justlance59 at gmail.com. All lowercase, no spaces. Anyways, y'all take it easy and I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. And by the way, I hope everybody's doing well. Bye-bye now.